came for free. It's a part of stuff getting off my I ass and put it in work for three. Photoshop, you know I'm on that. I'll be in a lab, they say tax. But I'm not worried, cause the truth comes light, so I just sit and laugh. Never going out sad. I was down bad on my last. Found art as a passion, so you know I'm never looking back. Now I'm counting some big racks, so you know they get hella mad. Find a deal they You are now tuned into Calso Scoped. Yo, what's going on y'all? Calcioscope back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a quick way that you can save your photos to make a time lapse slash a layer lapse. I don't know what you would exactly call it, but make your layers build up in a progression to your final product that you made from a Photoshop compilation, manipulation, post design. Let's do it. I don't want this video to go on for too long. So what I'm going to tell you guys here is some of the key things that you're going to need to know for making this happen. Now, you guys see how I have this layer right here. The first thing that we're gonna go over is how to merge layers from visible. And this is gonna be very important going forward in this tutorial because it's gonna be able, to, you're gonna be able to um, just merge your layers all together so that from the visible so that you have simplified layers and you're not having a bunch of information when we hop into After Effects because what you're gonna need to use is Photoshop and After Effects on this tutorial. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that first. So if you have, these two layers right here, this layer mask of Jordan here, this rough layer mask and this black background, you guys see, I have those two right there. Now we could merge them together by holding down control or shift and clicking up to the second layer right here, holding down control and we click that and then we press control E and we merge that to just a layer and that is condensed together. But the smarter way that I like to go about it and making sure that I have um, more control over my layers and backups just in case I need to go back is a shortcut that is control alt shift E okay and I'm pretty sure that alt on Mac is command so we're gonna press control alt shift E and we're gonna merge these from visible this merges from visible so control alt shift E and this merges from visible now you guys see the thumbnail right over here this is merged from visible and now I cannot move this by itself and this is really cool because we're going to bring this onto a different um, project of different PSD so that we don't have all this information stacked because this is my whole project file right now so make sure you guys know how to do merging from visible now I'm going to show you guys how to make um, groups and from your layers so I'm going to show you guys how to make groups and the shortcuts for groups for uh, making groups from your layers okay so let's do that okay so I have this group and this is going to be a group within a group but it's just for demonstration purposes now to make a group in Photoshop the shortcut is control G, but first what you have to do is obviously select the layers that you want to have in the group, right? So to select the layers that you want to have in a group, you can either press control and then control click to different layers that you want to have, but a shortcut is also shift and shift lets you select more at a time. So understand that shift, hold down shift, you can select more at a time or control, you can select them individually. Now, where this intertwines at and is really useful is when you use control shift, control shift, but then if you don't want any, if you just hold down control, then click out the ones you don't want, you can do that. Or you could hold down shift like we had before, so press control shift, and you can control shift to the layer that you actually don't want and re regroup that into a different group with shift. So control really just selects them individually and shift selects them by a, a larger mass. All right. So understand that. So control G is to group them after you do that. So if I press control G after I select some, it'll create a group right there that you see that group, but we don't need to do that. That's just for demonstration purposes. So control G and control is selecting individually and control G makes the group control shift is to select in mass. So let's understand that and get that into our brain because now everything else is going to just fall into place very easily and we'll be able to make this composition very quickly and in record time. All right, so now I'm on this group right here and this is all my layers separated. This is not all my layers separated into their separate images, but this is a layer group with just actually all of my layers. So if you guys see, you guys are gonna see me just getting rid of some things and you guys see them go off. So if I get the got him, it goes off. So I have everything just condensed and um, marked out to where it should be or where it was before. 
Now what we're going to do with our project file, make sure you have groups, separate groups to start off so that you don't get confused. We're going to work this all the way down to um, where we have our background and I'm, it would take very long for me to show you guys the whole process, but I'll show you guys like that why I'm taking all these off. So if I were to take all this Gotham stuff off and everything like that, this is so that I can condense this. So if I were to close this group and then we did the shortcut that we just had learned, control alt shift E, we would be making a layer from what we have here. So we would be making a layer from what is visible. So now that is a layer from visible. If I were to turn this off just to show you guys, it's a layer from what's visible. So that is the key that we're gonna have to do for going through these layers that are separated. And if we were to add some stuff on, so say if I added some stuff back on, and then press Control Alt Shift E on a visible layer, merge it from visible. Now you see the difference between these two layers, right? Simple. So what you're gonna do is go all the way down to your background, um, to your background layer that you had first before you start adding anything on, anything on. And then we're gonna start just comboing, comboing, comboing till you get to the point where you get back to where you had um, your final image, and that is going to. And then what you're going to do with all of these images that you had merged from visible is you're going to name them in alpha and not alphabetical order in order. So see how I have all these layers named in order. Well, they're not all in order, but I know we're, that they are all building up from each other. So they all build up from each other. And this is the key. So we start with our background. We're building up all the way till we get to our final. All right. And um, then we'll go on to the next step but build up all the way to your final merging from visible control alt shift e i believe that alt is command on the mac correct me if i'm wrong and help the mac users out and then we'll move on to the next step all right so once you have hold, held that step down now we have this whole layer with our layers final and what i'm going to do is move this onto a new document because there's already a lot of data a lot of pixels all adding up on this document so when you have this group, I call it layers F. This is my layers final. You're just gonna make sure you know your image size. So this is 1080 by 1350. So if you were to make a new document, you'd do the same um, size document with the same resolution. And you would just press Control C, Control C to copy the group. Make sure the group is closed and you have just the group. And then you would press Control Shift V, all right? Control Shift V, paste a group in place where it was right in place and you will have it right there. Now I don't need to do this because I already have it for mine, but that is how you would do it. Control shift V after copying the group and you will have that to go. Now, um, one other thing is don't pay attention to these. These are just different camera angles and different zoom ins. I wanted to display it for after, but yes, name your layers in order. And also we're gonna save this as a PSD. So save that as a PSD, so go to file, save as save on your computer and save it as a psd in an area that you know where you're going to have it so that once we hop into after effects and do the uh, time lapse it'll be easier to get done so save that and then we're going to hop right now into um, after effects so let's go and head over to after effects and see what it has in store for us all right so now once we're in after effects you guys see i've already had a project from this but i'm going to do one again to show you guys how to get it done. So I would press on new project. Okay. If you're not, if you don't see this, you would hit the home button and it'll bring you to this screen. So new project, boom. And then we're going to hit new composition. All right. And from this new composition, we're just going to name it like layer lapse. We'll name it layer lapse or whatever. Cause that's what it is. And we're going to set the duration to, Hmm. Is that 30 seconds? I think that's 30 seconds. So but I'm not really even sure. So we can change the, the the duration after, but make sure you just have it on 1080 by 1350, the the size of the document that you had for the Photoshop file. Frame rate is at 30, and then I'm gonna press OK. So this is at 30 minutes, but we will worry about that after, figure that out after. But I'm gonna show you guys how to import the PSD. So you're gonna go up to File, gonna go to Import, you're gonna go to File again, and now we're going to import that PSD straight as it was, right? So MJ got him, Lou, G Lou, layer lap. So we're going to double click on it and import it. Now, when we import it, you're going to retain your layer sizes and editable layer styles. Yes. So press OK. 
Now you guys see that little thumbnail in the top left that lets you know that's your, where your composition is. We're not going to drag anything in yet to the timeline or anything like that. We're just going to double click on this layer, layer lapse. Double click. There we go. It's open. Now also what you're going to do is zoom out with your scroll wheel if it's too zoomed in or whatever have you. Um, so now, yes, this is set to 30 minutes. And now I know this, this clip is going to be only around one minute. So this line right here, this second line down is your work area end. So you only need to have this at like one minute max. Cause we're not going to be using anything outside of one minute. It's probably not even going to be one minute, probably, probably be under 30 seconds. And this just shows you, um, your, it's like a stretch of your time. So like more time shown or whatever you want to do to get more in depth. But see how like we have no, we're not even using any of this part of the the time ruler. So now we're just gonna go to composition and we're gonna trim our comp to our work area, right there. Composition trim comp to work area. Now this gives us a better view of everything that we have, and we have our layers that we're gonna use. So this is our layers group. These are the two that we weren't gonna use, like I said in Photoshop. And we're gonna double click on our layers group now. So double click that, and now we have one through thirteen. So this will be pretty straightforward, pretty easy. We're going to use this scrunchy thing to uh, play around, but let's, let's set, let's set our, uh, let's set our, our, our thing once again, our layer time once again, cause I don't know why I went back to 30. So let's set this once again to right around here to somewhere in between um, one minute. We want around one minute and then we're going to trim our comp to work area again just like that. And with this, now we're going to drag from our one to 13. We want them all to be the same amount of time. So on one, go to one, we're going to shift select to 13, just like in Photoshop shift select. But this time we just want to make all of our clips not too long. So now they're all selected. So if I drag this, they're going to all be the same time, which is what we want. Now you can hold down shift and it should snap to like, a, a specific uh, second. So how I'm holding shift and it snaps. That's what Photoshop does. When you hold down shift, it snaps to select times. So I'm going to snap this to around one second each. It can probably be right around literally one second to two seconds. Um, but yeah, let's just go right in, right in there at one second, just a little bit over. So I'm holding off of shift and I'm just going a little bit under two seconds because I don't want this to be too long of build up. Now you have that done. So now we're just going to go individually through and we're going to use our, um, we're going to use our mouse and we're going to click and drag to match these two each other. And we're going to hold down shift. So this is snapping to the end of each frame. So each frame is going to play through and it's snapping. So make sure you are going from one to 13. Don't go from 13 to one unless you're trying to go backwards, which I don't know why you would do that, but maybe that's your style. But we're just holding down shift and you see I'm getting this done very quickly and I'm already done, right? So once you have that done, this right here where my cursor is, this is the playback and this is in full uh, full resolution. I like to go to like third or something like that just so it renders out quickly. And then you're just going to press space bar and view your work. So just view it really quick. Make sure it's all coming in the right way. Okay, so that looks good right there. And then if you want, um, you can you can manually adjust the the um, size or the length of your clips again. But I don't know. I don't know if you really want to do that. If you want to, that's an option. Just don't be afraid to if you do. But let's trim our comp to work area once again. And I'm satisfied with how this looks. I like how it looks. I'm just going to put my bar to the end of this clip. It's, it's the end of it. And then we're just going to go file export and we're going to add it to our render queue. So file export, add it to render queue. That's how we get back to where we had all of our layers because that's where we want to render it out. And just make sure that your ticker is at the beginning of the clip. And then we're going to go to file export add the, or no, we already had our render queue, so we don't need to do it again. Just go back to your render queue. These are your tabs right here. Go back to your render queue. We're going to um, double click on our layers.avi. This is the file name. So layers.avi. 
lapse. I'll just say layers lapse. I'm just naming it. And then we're going to set our output mode. Output mode's right here. So we're going to set that. We're going to keep that ABI. And then I like to use RGB plus alpha. Alpha would be specifically if you had like a transparent scene with like transparency. Um, there's no transparency here, but I just feel like alpha gives it a better feel. I don't know. Something about it gives it a better feel, better look. And I'll press OK. And then we would just render this out. And that would do and then we're just going to press render, right? So let's just press render and we'll let it render out. So now this is just finishing up. That blue line's almost done. And there we go. It just rendered out. Now, if I wanted to check where it rendered out, um, I would just go to that folder. And this is called layer lapse.avi. And there it is right there. Just double click on it. Make sure it's playing. Flash play. And there you go. It's playing right there. All right, guys. So that's what, what I'm going to break it off for right now in this video. I can show you guys how to add the music and the shakes and all those cool little effects that I added for the end product. But I don't want to add too much in one tutorial because we're already like reaching around 20 minutes. And I know how it is when a video reaches around that point. So I don't want to add too much here. So if you guys do want me to drop the next part of this video, I need 30 likes from you guys. Let's hit the goal of 30 likes and I'll drop the next video as soon as we hit that uh, milestone. But with that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned from this video. It's a very simple technique, but I think that it's really good for portfolios and things of that nature because a lot of times people think like manipulations or Photoshop isn't that hard. Like, bro, you're just putting pictures, blah, 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 you know, but it really is a skill, really is a craft. So I think this showcases how difficult it can be and how, um, how talented that someone needs to be and just showcases your work for things like portfolios or other things of that nature you know so with that being said it's going to do it for the video thank you guys for tuning in and share with a friend if this was enjoyable and it helped you guys out and or it will help you out in the future and show me your time lapses or your layer lapses and with that being said man stay scoped until next time i'm out peace